guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 9 of season 2 of The Promised Neverland. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Something tells me that, like, Emma... Emma gonna tell Norman off. Oh, God. Oh... I'm kind of glad that I'm watching this, like, first before Cells of War Black, because I was like... I mean, because the way last week's episode, really for both episodes, ended really kind of abruptly, and you're like, no, I need to know what the fuck is going to happen now, and I was like, I kept debating, I was like, should I watch Go Black, should I watch this? And I was like, let me go ahead and be different and watch this next, because something just tell me she going to go off and be like, no, I'm not. Norman! Norman! Like, this is a big no-no. Like, listen to them. I mean, but, you know, Norman's like, no, fuck them. Like, we're gonna do this, this, that, and the third. But the thing is, and I said this last week, um, him doing that makes him bad. Not, n not only bad, but just as worse as the demons. Because the fact is, if the demons are going around and killing, you know, humans for flesh... Of course, that's bad. But when it's, you know, out of revenge, especially for Norman and being traumatized and everything, that's not going to solve a problem. And, you know, we have our little messiah, Emma, coming to solve that problem. Our protagonist. I mean, like, I even said this last week. I don't want Norman to die, but if they have to, then yeah, go ahead and do it. But then this might end up making me want to read the damn manga. <laughs> And the thing is, he's just scared. Yeah, because you were like, mm, let's go ahead and do it. Fuck them. Exactly. Mm hmm. She's right. Because everyone's afraid of something, you know? Mm -hmm. But once you do that, you'll never be the same. You're already on that road. I know, you just wanted to save everyone, but you can't do it on your own. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. You can still change it. Here we go. 
is. Mm. Told you. See? See? What the fuck did I say? What the fuck did I say? <sighs> he gonna die in these last two episodes, and I'm just gonna be so fucking pissed. was nasty. Not as nasty as that though, but I will cry. Mm. The question is, do you have enough for everybody? See, but then it also makes you wonder the uh, everyone else who was also experienced on as well. How much time do they have? Bunny was. They really gonna fucking kill him. What? I can't imagine the people who read the manga were watching this. They're like, what the fuck? It's over.
Okay, so you got something for Norman? Let me guys. It, they're being shift to fucking Peter. Not sure, grandma. What? What the? I, I'm so. I'm confused. I'm confused. Wasn't she supposed to be out looking for the kids? Because I was expecting to see her, you know, go out and shit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is so fucking stressful now. Girl, no, but two episodes left, Emma. Let's hope and pray they don't find out. What is that? Oh. Oh. 
this had to be um William, right? So then that means if they attach that to the pin, there's another safe house. You can get out of here. Oh, sweet.
Mm-hmm. That's just who she is. Mm-hmm. Bruh, I'm just wondering how the hell... Mother. God, why is there always a. This mother. See, that's why I can't. You can't trust anyone. You can't trust anybody. So, you, instead of you wanting to side with Emma, because that was what? Vincent? Um, wanting to side with everybody, going to Gray's house, saving the kids. Finding a way out of this hell. <laughs> oh, God. Because, you know, some people just don't care about others and they just care about themselves and they're so selfish as fuck and everything because sometimes my mom thinks I'm selfish but I'm like, no, I think about others' needs before myself. This mofo right here ain't thinking about anybody. He just thinking about himself. I get it. It's a killed or be killed situation. But damn, man. Like, with two two episodes left, we want to go ahead and make, oh, yeah, there's a traitor among us, BS, and then reveal the traitor right at the end of the episode. I don't know. He could have got that cure, and he could have went on his happy way and not doing the issue he's doing. But he's like, no, I want to do this. So something going to tell me between these next two episodes, he going to die. Come on, man. When a traitor comes out, they die. Come on now. Just let Norman live. That's all I care about. I just, I, I need Norman, Ray, and Emma to just still be together by the last two episodes of the series because we only have two episodes. And as I said before, and I'm going to say it again, you know, if I was a manga reader watching this, I, I would have been probably, whatever the heck has gone down in the manga, I, I can't even imagine, like I said, how in the world manga readers are currently, you know, um, adapting to all this week after week because they're like, you know, it's supposed to go like this and now we're going like this and da 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 Because for a moment, I, I was assuming that by the end of this episode, Norman would have been dead and we would have just continued with Emma and Ray. And I would have been really heartbroken because Norman is one of my personal favorite characters. He's very interesting. All three of them are, but like, Norman, you just precious baby boy who you want to protect. I, I, I just do think, like, yeah, a lot of the, <laughs> the anime only, only us, we probably would have been like, what the heck? But, I mean, manga readers are probably just, like, flabbergasted about what is going on with this show. I think possibly ever since Norman officially made his appearance. And I remember talking about it, I think... episode seven or eight six seven or eight because we had episode five was the last episode we all watched before the recap episode then episode six came out and that was when they officially put norman in the opening and you could like obviously see that and, and somebody put it uh said something i think in that reaction video for me um that it was obviously there and such especially when you see first Emma and Ray and you see this little corner on the on the other side of her that we all knew Norman was possibly going to come back but like I, like I said I can't imagine some of these manga onlys and being like what the heck is going on with this show because I'm like that right now as an anime only I'm like what the heck is going on with this show now like <laughs> I don't know I mean, Jesus, like, are they going to be able to save Phil and the rest of the kids? Is somebody going to be die dying in these last two episodes? There's so much that they could put in these last two episodes. Heck, if it was my opinion, 
I would make the last two episodes, specifically the last episode of this series, an hour long instead of just 23 minutes because everybody automatically assumes that you can put everything that you need in a 23 minute episode. No, because you're leaving, by the time a, a, a series ends, especially when they go into a filler type season, um, there's so many unanswered questions that will never come to surface and we'll never see again, especially, you know, it, it's more interesting, especially when it is an original anime, where someone who's created something and then you get to the end of the series and you're like, damn, this was a good six, seven hour, you know, TV series to watch, but I have a couple of questions, you know, just mm, to put it out there in it. I'm just saying, but like with two episodes... I'm already, you know, gearing up for the fact that this is going to possibly have a rushed open ending. And I'm probably not going to like it, knowing myself, because I've seen shows that have done this ish in the past. And by the time I've gotten to the last episode, I've had really not so nice thoughts about the show. I love the show too freaking much, but I just think the rate that they're going and the pacing that they're going, I'm not going to like this ending how in the world this ends but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode nine of season two of S i'm about to say self of work I promise neverland if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next thursday for episode 10 bye guys